Good. All right. My name is Eric Brown. I'm a lieutenant with the Missouri State Highway Patrol in the Public Information and Education Division. Uh, thank you all for your patience uh, as we have been uh, working digitally to obtain as much information as we can at this part in the investigation. I want to stress that the information we have now available is preliminary. This is an active and ongoing investigation at the scene. Uh, this is going to take us uh, several more hours uh, to work through this today and uh, late into this evening and tomorrow as well, most likely. Uh, with me today is uh, Corporal Justin Dunn. Uh, he's the Troop B Public Information Officer. He'll have a short statement for you here in just a moment. And also with me today is the Sheraton County Sheriff, uh, Eric Billups. Right, thank you all. As Lieutenant Brown said, my name is Justin Dunn. I am a corporal with the Missouri State Highway Patrol, and I am the Troop B Public Information Education Officer. Um, the statement that we're going to release at this time reference the derailment of the train. Is at approximately 12.43 p.m. today, the Sheraton County 911 Center received a 911 call of a vehicle struck by a train on Porsche Prairie Avenue in Sheraton County, southwest of Minden, Missouri. At approximately 13.02, first responders began to arrive on the scene. Preliminary investigation indicates an Amtrak passenger train traveling from Chicago, traveling to Chicago, Illinois, struck a dump truck at the railroad crossing of Porsche Prairie Avenue. It's an uncontrolled crossing. The train had approximately eight cars, including a baggage car. Seven cars have derailed. There are multiple injuries, and we can confirm there are three fatalities, two on the train and one in the dump truck. Personnel are currently working to secure the scene. The train had approximately 207 passengers as well as crew members. All injured and uninjured occupants of the train have been transported from the scene. Multiple law enforcement agencies, ambulance districts, first responders, fire departments, and medical helicopter, helicopters responded to assist. Agencies involved including are the Sheraton County, Lynn County, Macon County, Randolph County Sheriff's Offices, the Brookfield and Macon Police Departments, the Missouri State Highway Patrol, the Missouri Department of Conservation, the Missouri State Park Rangers, the Missouri State Fire Marshals, the State Emergency Management, Ambulance from the Sheraton County, Lynn County, Randolph County, Livingston County, Macon County, Howard County, Carroll County, and Caldwell County um, also transported uh, with medical helicopters, transported medical services provided, respond, responded to the scene. Each uh, agency transported multiple victims. Officials from Antrac are responding to the scene and the NTSB uh, has been advised. The investigation is, is in its preliminary stages, and as more information becomes available, we will be releasing it at that time. Thank you. As we, we stress here, this is uh, the beginning of a lengthy investigation. Uh, we have a lot more information we are seeking and need to obtain. Uh, also with me are uh, members of the Sheraton County Commission. Uh, we will provide updates uh, as they are available. Uh, they can be found on our patrol's uh, Twitter page at MSHP Trooper B. Uh, update information will be there as, as quickly as we can, and we will address uh, more questions as we get more information. Thank you all for your time. I appreciate it. We'll, we'll take some afterwards. Will you take some right now? We, we can try, but it'll probably not be much we can talk about at this point. There was as many as 243 passengers. He just said a total of 207. Can you confirm how many right. passengers and how many crew members? All right. We're, uh, like I said, preliminary. We're, we're still working with officials from Amtrak and our uh, members at the scene. Uh, we know there's an excess of 200 passengers on the train and approximately 14 crew, but I cannot give you an exact number at this point in time because it's not something that I personally have been able to verify. Do you have a number of how many injured? No idea on number injured at this point. At but, the railroad crossing, are there flashing lights or there arms? It's an uncontrolled uh, cross buck intersection on a gravel road, uh, so no lights, no electronic control devices, things such as that. Well, that's pretty, pretty common to this area then? Uh, a lot of your rural intersections are that way, yes. Do you know what hospitals these, these victims were transported to? Uh, we, we Area hospitals uh, in the surrounding counties, and obviously the the area vac, the the medical helicopters have transported those patients to applicable trauma centers in the area as well. Uh, but that's not information I have at this time either. Do you have any information on what safety measures they had in place at this time? Nope, not at this time. Nothing that I could uh, can discuss at that point because just uh, not familiar with exactly what occurred at the scene. Thank you. 
We saw several relocation centers as we were on the way here. Is there a place that you were taking those that weren't injured because, you know, there was a lot of passengers yes. that were on there sure. that weren't injured? Uh, were with assistance of the public and some other uh, area entities here in the, uh, the immediate Sheridan County area, uh, the uninjured uh, parties uh, and injured parties were taken to the area hospitals and also to another safe location where the uninjured went uh, until arrangements can be made to finish their travels. Was the truck stuck on the track or was it in motion at the time of the crash? That's not known at this time, ma'am. Okay. It's something there, you know, as, as they complete this uh, investigation, more details of how that uh, crash occurred will be released. You said there were seven cars that derailed. Do you know how many cars were total were on this? I believe there's eight total cars, including a baggage car. Uh, but as far as you know, that, that's the best information that I have at this point in time. And do you know if those fatalities that you reported are crew or passengers? I do not know. No. All right. Thank you all.